The Jewish Federation of San Diego County works to foster dynamic connections with Israel and care for all Jews in our community in need. And now they're focusing their attention on helping Israel recover after the violence there in the region. Joining us now to talk more about the organization's efforts is the interim chief executive for the Jewish Federation of San Diego County, Heidi Gantwerk. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Thanks for joining us. I am well. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit more about the Federation and the mission and what you're doing to help those in Israel. Well, the, the Jewish Federation of San Diego County has, uh, has been in existence for more than 80 years. And our mission is to care for Jews in need, both here in, in San Diego uh, and around the world, and also to build Jewish community and to connect San Diego to Israel. And right now, the need in Israel is great. There are a lot of communities that are really struggling. I, we are watching what has happened. Uh, we've been watching these events with bated breath. We are so relieved about the ceasefire. But there is a real need that this has caused to really support Jews living in some of these and, and all uh, Israelis living in communities that are that are really struggling. Um, we we are providing uh, services, their relocation, uh, people who had to leave their communities because of uh, threats of violence and, and, and actual violence. We are providing uh, respite and therapeutic care and uh, sort of reconstruction as well for generators and, and buildings that have been damaged and really constantly building that community that community and that connection with our friends in Israel. Yeah, we've seen some of the video of these buildings just being bombed out and then you hear stories from people who have lived there for years and they tell us that their apartment actually has a specific room. It's fortified with concrete and no windows and and these large metal doors and things and it's just it just sounds like such a different world. Uh, are you hearing any specific stories from people that you know there? Well, what we hear about the trauma, and in particular, the oldest and the youngest, right, the elderly and the children really suffer. They have some of them PTSD from being under rocket fire multiple times. Kids are leaving their schools to run to bomb shelters in the middle of the day. Thank goodness again for the ceasefire and that everyone is not dealing with that right now. But that trauma doesn't go away quickly. We know that buildings have been damaged, playgrounds have been damaged. In particular, we're focused on our partner region who were deeply connected to Shah Negev, that whenever these conflicts arise, always sits in harm's way. And they have considerable damage to their equipment. They also lose electricity, which means people on uh, oxygen machines are struggling. So the, the trauma, the stress, we can't imagine living here in San Diego, what it's like to live with that kind of trauma, that stress and uncertainty. That's why we feel it's incumbent upon us to do what we can to help support them. We've also come, covered some of these stories. Uh, one happened in uh, Los Angeles, Beverly Grove, where some Jewish people were having sushi, it seems like outside of a restaurant, and some, they say, Palestinians uh, came and attacked them. And then we've seen other situations in New York, where I believe a Hasidic Jew had to kind of run for his life, uh, more Palestinians in cars running after him. Uh, t tell me how that hits close to home, too. I mean, that's right here in the United States. I mean, Los Angeles is just a few hour dry, a few hours away. Well, look, and it's not it's not relegated to Los Angeles. Uh, we've had obviously significant and, and terrible anti-Semitic incidents right here in San Diego. We had one in Poway. Whenever conflict in Israel surges, anti-Semitism seems to come along with it. And I just want to say it's unacceptable. And inaction on anti-Semitism is inexcusable. Uh, today, with partners, uh, with other major Jewish organizations, there was a virtual rally, more than 17,000 people gathered to encourage people to speak out, to make their voices heard, and really to urge Congress to take action to address this, this surge of anti-Semitism, the scourge of anti-Semitism, really, and, uh, and to really address all forms of hatred that are uh, rising and, and are really impacting people's lives here. I worry about our college students who are in difficult situations. I have three kids in college. This is tough for them. Uh, it's a really complicated situation and anti-Semitism seems to come along with it. So we really need to do everything we can. We're so grateful to our incredible partners at ADL, the Anti-Defamation League of San Diego, who have really led on this. And it's an issue that impacts all of us in the community and really impacts everybody outside of the community as well, because this kind of behavior should not be tolerated by anybody. Absolutely. Heidi Gantwerk with the Jewish Federation of San Diego County. Great to talk to you, Heidi. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Still